If you look at uh, China being a, a powerhouse of the economy in the last uh, 20 years, but if you look at all country in Asia, uh, if you talk about uh, basically uh, Myanmar, India, uh, Bangladesh, and so on and so forth, all the coastal community that are in each country and the country, the, the, the national requirement, all have needs to develop inland waterway transportation solutions. The problems uh, when countries are developing fast, transport grows even faster. In order to cope with the need for transport, you need more infrastructure or more efficient use of infrastructure. Uh, road and rail cannot deal with that in a lot of countries. If you have the opportunity to use inland waterway transport, it would be a very smart move to do so. It's very often environmentally more friendly. Cost-wise, it could definitely be cheaper and you need every alternative you have to transport goods and passengers. Inland navigation is not um, uh, an activity that you can organize overnight. You should take time, but uh, you should do it and set your marks and work on it. The uh, questions uh, we are faced with are almost all the same. Uh, even the solutions, to a large extent, could be similar in, uh, in one river basin uh, compared to the other. And so far, we can learn a lot of each other.